Shoot! Shoot! Ah! Shoot it! I got this motherfucker! Lay down some cover! <laughs> Don't be afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. Uh -huh. The joys of hygiene! Come to me, you sinners, you evil men! You were born in filth and squalor, but today you will be cleansed. Oh, cleansed in fire! No, 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 no. It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that, but I got to thinking. It was what he was waiting for, a chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. The apartment made me wish I'd got to know him better. Scramble away from what's left of your life over dead bodies and a few loose roof tiles. If I'd thought things through, I may have sat down and let myself burn right there. Gunfire over Hoboken. Felt strange to be at the center of it again. The target, that is. Like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. Coming into Newark Airport. Get right on the Pulaski, pal. Don't look down. Let's look alive. We're gonna get this prick. <clears throat> Come on. I wanna hear some motivation. Let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? I heard something. What kind Up of there. Shit? Up where? Up there. What you bitching? Oh, <laughs> no, there he is. Shoot him. God damn it.
need some help there, brother? I needed his help five minutes ago. I thought you were doing fine. Yeah, well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here. There were wrecks all around, and not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid. They don't need to second-guess us when they're covering all the angles. Don't worry, guys! I'm shot! I'm getting no. caught! These chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop and me clocked it months ago. But the deadbeat and me didn't give a shit. What the fuck? Huh? Oh, shit, it's cop! Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Go, go! There oh, they are! Spread out! Let's go! I'm fine with the leather. There's plenty here, going begging. This don't show the blood so much. Must have forgotten about those. How's this look? way around these parts. Let's just get over there. Yeah? Think you need a hand? No, do you? Let's go, amigo. 
You like that? <laughs> Should be a bit quieter in here. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens? You want a job yet, Max? So here we were, miles up the Tiete River. Looking for what, we did not know. Max! You listening? Max! So like I was saying, I think they're a group called the Krashapret. Why'd you tell me they were called the CS? They are. I mean, Fabiana. She was kidnapped by the CS. The guys that crashed our little party at the stadium, they were a group of paramilitaries. You'll have to forgive me for not being able to follow all this. You're not supposed to follow it. The government can't even follow it. It ensures that no one's ever guilty. So why'd they do it? Bust us at the stadium. Eh, somebody told them we were gonna be there with a whole lot of money. Anyway, the money's gone. I just hope we can get the girl back. Yeah, me too. Wonder where the hell she is. You know there's a harbor about a half a mile up? She's gotta be there. This is a known Comando Sombra area. You know, if I've been doing my job properly, we wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere looking for some broad who got pinched on my watch. That's what we tell ourselves, huh? It's all our fault. No, I'm serious. By the time they grabbed the girls, I was half cut. I ain't slipping, man. I'm slipped. I'm a bad joke. Max, we work private security. We're all ex-soldiers, ex-special forces, ex-cops, ex-good guys. We all have our reasons why we became ex. Maybe now we can put things right, okay? So that was it, was it? Say the magic word and be absolved of your sins. If only shit were that simple, I'd have done it years ago. Me, I'd been stuck in the past so long, I'd forgotten what year it was. Hey Max, quit your daydreaming. This is it. It's over there. I'm gonna cut the engine. Light in. Don't go anywhere. Looked like Passos had brought us to the right place. That was the chopper the Commando Sombra used to escape the nightclub attack. If Fabiana wasn't around here, then at least someone that knew where she was had to be. Here I was, some hopped up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect. A bullet will sometimes work as well as a key. I had no idea what lay ahead. 
And as much as part of me would rather be anywhere else, I knew this was where I had to be. I felt responsible. I just had to fix the situation right here. I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiana was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. So far, I'd managed to keep a low profile, a bit out of character for a guy who's only comfortable with a bottle of whiskey or a gun in his hand. I kept moving toward the signs of life, rubbing them out as I went along. I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at least alive, if not exactly well. Her captors didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. Oi! Dani! Você tá aí? Você tem um cigarro? I didn't want to think about what would be happening on that video feed now. Just my own imminent cameo. I had to keep moving. I hoped that I'd find Fabiana sooner than later, if at all. chair that she had been held in. I had just missed them. Porra! 
Cala a boca! Ninguém pode te ouvir, caralho! Sua burguesinha, safada! There she was, right in front of me. The drunk fool in me wanted to make a play. But I had just about enough sense to know that I'd end up with another dead girl in my arms if I did. circle of this low-rent hell. These were the floor plans to the nightclub. Seemed Mr. Serrano liked to be prepared. Proper little boy scout. seen Fabiana in a worrying amount of time, but at least I wasn't following a trail of her fingers. Keep on going across the docks.
there they were. I had the feeling I'd been running one step behind ever since I got to this country. And maybe a few years before that as well. Okay, don't worry, hang on. Boy, did I need to hang on. The whole operation was slipping out of our grip. 
I was an overconfident chump who'd gone into the jungle alone. Shit, more company! Much longer, I don't know. Damn. Fuck, that way. All right. This ain't looking good, bro. Watch out behind us, Passos. You see it? Fabiana's boat is in the front! Don't lose it! Get forward! Get back to them! Get back to them! Keep after them! Jesus! We're running interference! There's another boat blocking us from Fabiana! Decoy bow! Shit! Grenade! Grenade! Down! That doesn't look so good. You think you can get these boats out of the water? Got into trouble! Well, fix it quick there, Captain. We need to move. Get that stone from the sky in the swamp! I nearly got it! Over there, man! Over there! I got it! Shit! Any time now, assholes! We need some more time! You could do it. Yes. <laughs> Very cool. Hey, you see that? Shit, look out for it! Them. We're back. Nice job. I'm sure they missed us. That's us will be right. Damn it! Hey, I got an idea. Hold on.
Brazilian tourist office should get a load of this. And they know all about it. It shows a different campaign. The place was crawling. How many guys they got? How many poor kids want nice sneakers? It ain't hard to hire. Hey, we're on them again. See si Fabian. Move up on them. All right, all right. I'll get us a little closer. Close in. Come on, just give me a second. This is screwy. We're not coming this close to let her go. I'm afraid this shit's gonna come down to more than willpower. Try it, man. Shit. Fabiana had slipped through my fingers for a second time. Another habit I didn't want or need. It's close. We almost had her. Damn. I don't think we ever had much of a chance. No one told us they had an entire goddamn army. I don't think anybody knew. This crazy shit. Yeah. It's all crazy, pal. Non-stop insanity. Thought I left all this shit behind. <sighs> Easy gig, you said. What a fool I was to get involved in this madness. Bastard, come on. I'm up. Yeah? You don't look up. Just give me a second, will ya? Really not feeling too good. <clears throat> hey Max, what is it with you in interior design? Huh? You you really know how to give a place that great lived in feel, huh? This is beautiful. Fuck off with the fucking wisecracks. Really. I'm not in the mood. Okay, sorry, bro. The boss wants to see us, so let's go, come on. Time, man. Fucking unbelievable. Jesus. I heard that. Oh, give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bon dia.
Elas estão aí? O que, que o senhor acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, Tudo bem. Não? Ah... You fucking pair of clowns! I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save... I... I... I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy. Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot! This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating and embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the end for me. Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senhor? Let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, senhor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Até logo, Sr. Branco. I had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money. Now my wife, I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool, just like the rest of my friends. Com licença. Tem uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva? Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? <laughs> Look at me. I'm a mess. O que está acontecendo? Meu Deus! Ei, pode entrar! Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that. We got men entering the building and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. That was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk now, both of you. 